Hey, this is Kristen. Welcome to my planner. Today I'm going to use this kit from Miura Studio called Autumn Comes Softly in both of my planners because they come with two date covers, the deluxe kits, and I just knew it would have enough for both of them. And in case you haven't seen my other videos, I use this larger planner as a record keeper to keep everything in chronological order because I have major um, planner piece issues with my rings. I know I like to use rings, but I like to change the sizes and the inserts all the time. So it helps me to have this one as more of a backup planner where I just keep all the info in it. So anyway, I like that this has two sets of date covers because um, I use the bigger ones here and then the smaller ones in these weekly view, these weekly inserts from Printable Kate. I really like that they have the big box on the left hand side because I can put decorative stuff in there and then the right hand side I can just list things out. I use them kind of the way people use a brain dump section where I just go okay Wednesday here's all the stuff I have to do that day and I just write it all down even if I don't get it all done. Um, oh, that's my clip of my dog that was made by the Wooly Planner. She's so talented. But anyway, even if I don't get it all done, at least I have it listed here and then I can transfer it to my daily page, what I'm actually going to get done that day. So I went ahead and put down all my glitter headers and the floral washi um, here. I really like using glitter headers over the colors in the recollections planner and it does give me a little bit more freedom than if I were to use the all the today and to do headers. Um, when I use glitter, I just tend to experiment a little more with what I use the boxes for and I like doing that. And then I put down the full boxes. I wanted to use this one for the first week of fall and um, this the Sunday here is the first day of fall so I wanted to put that pumpkin one there. I love those floral boxes. They're so pretty. Miura Studio does beautiful artwork and um, if you're not familiar this is a mother and daughter team and the mother creates the artwork and then the daughter does the designs and they are just so talented and then their names are Michelle and Aurora and they put them together to make the shop name one more floral box here gosh those are so pretty so I wanted to make a little bit of flow here um, you can see I have sort of some wave action with the full boxes trying to keep the eye moving and I've learned also to just go straight across here with the boxes so it looks more orderly and I'm just stacking up my sidebar I usually like to put down our dinners and my older son's naps all on the sidebar here so I use two of those weekly boxes and then in the my more everyday planner I wanted to do my habit trackers this is a planner that I have open on my desk all day so it's easy for me to come check things off where the other one pretty much I keep it on the shelf until I'm ready to go fill everything in. So habit trackers are better off in the everyday rings. So I just stacked all four of them. They had plenty there and then I wanted to do some of this thin washi that was included in the kit so I just snipped that in there. And then I also wanted to grab the hydrate tracker because I've really been trying to pay attention to my water intake more. It's been really bad lately, so <laughs> I need to use stickers. That's really sometimes the only way to get myself to do what I'm supposed to do. Gotta have a sticker. My husband says that our house runs on stickers and he's not wrong. Luckily he supports my habit. I wanted to use some of the deco here um, to soften the edges because this box is a little bit bigger than um, what the stickers that I'm using so I had to find a way to make it look a little bit more natural. So I just added some little things to the corners and that seemed to make it look better, at least to me. I love these little apples and pumpkins in the kit, they're so cute and one of my goals for this year is to go apple picking. I'm in the south so I'll have to drive a little bit to be able to do that so we'll just see if my kids cooperate but I'm hoping they will. And then I wanted to add some deco um, down here too and finish the sidebar just by covering up those colors basically and then I took the scarecrow that they made which 
How did they make a scarecrow look pretty? I don't know, but they did. <laughs> I love that their kits always have some kind of a fashion girl in them, and that this one had, they made her into a scarecrow. These are a new addition to their kits, and you can buy them on single sheets too, these bow headers, and I love bows pretty much. If I see a bow, I'm going to want to use it. And then I also try to put a little bit of bow washi um, in my spreads most of the time. It's just eye-catching, and I like the foil. So I thought that this shade of green, or mint, I guess, would go best with this kit. So the way that I like to do it is just put... Um, center it so there's about two bows in the box and then just snip off the edges and I don't put it on every day but I put it about every other day and um, just a little bit here and there really that foil just catches the light in a pretty way and then I've been snipping my checklist into three because three seems to be enough for me so I wanted to do that and then I don't take up a whole box with a checklist because like I said, this is more of a record keeping planner. So I really just need to know basically what I did for work that day. I don't really need to know that I did laundry <laughs> when I'm looking back on things. I was chatting with one of my friends who is also a shop owner and she, we were just talking about how you tend to use stickers for more of the bigger things and not really as much the everyday things. Like I know I have to do dishes and laundry and sweep the floor every day. So you'd think I would use those stickers the most, but really it's I use those the least. So just sort of interesting to figure out your your sticker habits. I can't help analyzing because before I had kids my field was psychology. So I like to think about these things. Why do I do this? Why do I do it that way? I love these clipboard boxes and um, these heart checklists for work. Like I said, I like to keep those on work days. And then I clipped one of the bow headers to add it here just to give a little bit of a boundary there between the box and then the bottom part of the page. And then I wanted to add the rest of them in here. Um, I wanted to use as many as I could. And then up here, I like to write the shop name and the name of the kit especially if I'm planning way ahead like this. That way I don't forget the name of the kit. So I, whenever I post on social media, I wanna be able to share that part. So that's my whole spread in the memory planner. And then back to my rings here, I'm gonna finish up. And the first thing I wanted to do is get these half boxes down. I find half boxes to be really useful. They're one of my favorite things um, to be included in kits because I just use them to basically put the biggest part of that day. So like for example, today in my half box, my husband is going out of town for work. So I wanted to put that down like, hey, this day you're gonna be on your own with the kids. So just whatever sticks out to me the most about that day, that's what's gonna go in these half boxes. And then I had this, um, I think it's just thin washi, with a floral vine on it. And I can't tell you how often this has come in handy. I still felt like that big box over there was looking a little awkward. And then I've, from using these inserts for a couple of weeks, I've realized I like having a bit of a divider between the days. And this washi is just perfect for that. It has three different versions that came in the pack and I wish I could remember where it was from, but I can't remember. Um, I'll have to try to find it on Etsy. But it's been really useful. I use it all the time. And it looks like it belongs with this kit too. So I added um, some full boxes down there for work days for Tuesday and Thursday. And then I wanted to put the today headers um, at the top of this listing area. And I stuck with the pinks, peachy pinks over here for the first four days of the week. And then I'm gonna do the blues and greens on the other one. I was going to mix them, but then I thought it might be, might look cute to just do it this way. And then I wanted to add some more from the deco sheet here. I love their deco sheets because they're so much packed onto them. And the little characters are just cute and I want to see them throughout the week. So I put that little owl there and then um, their quotes, they have a couple of quotes. And then of course more bow headers because I have some extra ones. And I love the way they look at the bottom of a box like that. It's really 
feminine and pretty. So there's another one. <laughs> I really went crazy with the bow headers. I cannot help myself. <laughs> I'm probably going to use them on my dailies too. They're just going to be everywhere. So here I'm just finishing up with um, the functional parts with the todays. I'm really liking how this is turning out because I think it's still functional enough where I can actually use it. There's plenty of room to write, but it's pretty enough where I'll keep looking at it. Um, that's really the draw for using stickers for me in my planner is that it makes me want to look at it because I put effort into it. It made me feel creative. It was something fun for me to do, but I also really have to write things down or I forget everything. It drives me nuts because I swear before I had babies, I had a really good memory and now I just can't remember anything. <laughs> I hope it comes back. I don't know. You guys tell me. Does it come back <laughs> when your kids get older? So I had a few, I wanted to add a few more florals here just because florals really to me soften everything up, make everything look more attractive. And I just had so much I wanted to use it. Luckily with these, there's still more and I'll probably use those in my journal. Um, I like to decorate my journal too and I have a couple of videos on that if you're interested. I just really like to get the most use I can out of kits and when they come with so much, I want to make sure I use it. So this is how it turned out in the personal rings, personal wide rings. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the shop or how I'm working with these planners and thank you so much for watching.